the changes of Senate House leadership of the Jukulim majority side. What happened today is a short of a political conmanship and illegality, immoral, and godly, and unjustifiable. It is sad that uh, Senator Kipchumba Murkomen and Senator Susan Kika, who have sat, served the Senate's uh, leadership with distinction and with a lot of commitment and zeal in pushing the government agenda in the Senate. It is so sad uh, that the Speaker uh, made a decision that was not informed by either facts, law, or any other backing of evidence that came to place. We are aware over 22 senators by yesterday, myself included, had signed the lists that we protested, that we were never invited, we were never in state house, to do any purported illegal changes that have been uh, perpetuated. What happened in state house was just a courtesy call for people going to take chai and mandazi. But I, what I want to say, even as the people plan and removed illegally and godly and justifiable, the Senator Kipchumba Murkomen, leader of majority, Senator Susan Kiga, uh, the chief whip of our majority party, they should know that it, the, 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 the battle lines are now drawn. And I want to assure them that uh, the Senator, Senator Kipchumba Murkomen, Senator Susan Kihika, there is no government business that has failed, that has not succeeded, that has not been passed, and therefore it is so sad that the Jubilee Party and the President himself, President Uru Kenyatta, who we voted 2013, we voted twice in 2017, to sit down and plan on eating its own children. It is very illegal and it is immoral to sit down and plan war and unfair targeting against your members. Secondly, the Senate Standing Order number 19 and 20, and even the Jubilee Constitution, even the Constitution of Kenya, the illegality that was committed is a threat not only to the Jubilee uh, leadership party that was removed, but a threat to democracy in this country. We should allow democracy to thrive, and the removal of the two senators is unfair, is unconstitutional, is illegal, is immoral, and ungodly. And I, yesterday I said, and I want to challenge President Uru Kenyatta, instead of shadow boxing and fighting small people and fighting unnecessary wars, yet the floods, the mudslides, the corona pandemic is ravaging the country. The honorable thing that President Uru Kenyatta should do is call the Minister for Public Service Commission call the speakers of both houses, call the parliament leadership, and any other entity of government, prepare a big list of all friends and allies of Dr. William Samuel Kipchichir Arab Ruto across the country and fire them once and for all. And then he can now go back into the Big Four agenda. And that is why some of us who are chairmen in the committees in the Senate and other parliamentary committees, we are there not because by accident, we are there because on, on the capability, abilities, and the belief of the party that we did the right thing. And therefore, I want to ask the president, let us stop this so that we can go back, just fire all these people you imagine, our allies and what have you. And even this merger of coalition of parties is an illegality in itself. The Jubilee Constitution does not support. The Political Parties Act, the Elections Act is very clear on the process on how you can do coalition, either pre-election coalition or post-election coalition. And therefore, the, 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 we don't want the president. And it is so sad, two years down the line, the only legacy of Jubilee Party, the only legacy of President Kuhuru Kenyatta's administration has only been the infighting within Jubilee. And it is sad that him as a party leader has been the convener, the strategist, and the executor of the fight in the Jubilee. And the back and the fight stops within the Jubilee in the party leader. He cannot sit down to fight his own people, the way he has done to Senator Kika and Senator Murkomen. Ata hawa ni watoto ya watu. Hawa wako na watu yao pia. Ni mbaya serekali ambaye tuliunda. Tulisema uru tano tena. Tulitembea Kenya hii. Wakati watu wa ODM na wanasa walisusia uchakuzi. Sisi ya tu kulala. 
Wengine hata tulipoteza mabibi wetu. Wengine watoto hawakuona ma, 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 baba zao. Wengine walifukuzwa majumbani kama ni, ni wale viongozi ambao ni akina mama kwa sababu tulikuwa tunataftia kura rais Uhuru Kenyatta. Ni inashangaza sana na inashtua yeye mwenyewe kuketi na kupanga kuangamiza wale watu waliomsaidia. Inaonekana kama ulisaidia Uhuru Kenyatta kupata kura mingi ndio utapewa kipigo, kipigo ya juu zaidi kuliko wale. Na ndio maana nataka nimuulize kwa heshima rais kama umechoka na umesema wacha wala ambao ni wandani marafiki wala ambao ni imagine kutoka taifa letu la Kenya yote kama ni cabinet kama ni bunge kama ni public service chukua majina yote ya wale unadhania ni marafiki wanaibu wa rais katika taifa letu la Kenya na uwafute kasi mara moja ndio urudi kwa hudumia wa Kenya kupambana na mambo ya mudslide mambo ya corona mambo ya yale mengine hatutaendelea namna hiyo na hata nimeona watu yake na wale wa propaganda wanasema ati sisi wengine tulikuwa status lakini ni mzuri wametoa list ambaye inaonyesha wale maseneta walienda status kunywa chai na mandazi. Hata nataka nimuulize wale senate sijui majority leader na ule minority whip ambao wamechukua viti wamefurahi ni wale ambao wamesimama katika kaburi ya watu waliokufa. They don't enjoy confidence of the of the of the majority side. Wasifurahi kwa sababu wamepewa viongozi kwa njia ya kimabafu walichukua hiyo uongozi true coup that was political conmanship therefore nataka niulize wa Kenya niulize rais futa hawa watu wote marafiki wa naibu wa rais urudi kutusaidia kufix mambo ya corona vijana hawana kazi wakulima wamepanda bado wanahitaji top dressing saa hii tunapoongea kuna ufisadi ya kujaribu kuleta saidi ya milioni ine ya mahindi katika taifa letu la Kenya na hapa Rift Valley kama ni hapa Nandi kama ni kule wazingishu tunaona kuwa mahindi bado wa Kenya wako naye hiyo ndio agenda kubwa ambayo nataka niniseme na nataka niseme nimefurahi sana kwa sababu hawa viongozi ambao wametolewa hakuna siku waliangusha business ya, ya, ya government in the, in the, in the senate senator Kipchumba Murkomen kama kiongozi ya walio wengi senator Susan Kioka kama kiranja wetu hakuna siku agenda ya serikali ilianguka wamefutwa tu kwa sababu ya kisiasa wamefanyiwa vita tu kwa sababu ya kisiasa kwa sababu ukiona historia ya senate ni wakati wa Kipchumba Murkomen na Susan Kihika wakiwa viongozi ndio serikali imeweza kupitisha ajenda mingi kuliko wakati wote na tunasema ingawa sisi wengine tuna question kazi yetu kama senate ni oversight haimaanishi wakati tuna, tuna question some of the government agenda in the house it doesn't mean that we are fighting the government it means that we want to strengthen the issues in the government and therefore wawache hii propaganda ni mzuri wametoa hii list ya masenators ambao walikuwa wameficha ficha ni mzuri sasa wanataka ya mwisho ya mwisho nataka ni niseme hivi hii siasa yote inayopangwa inayokorogwa ni kuzuia naibu wa rais katika succession politics ya 2020 na sisi wengine hatutalala flat kama envelope sisi wengine tutakuwa macho hii Kenya ni yetu sisi wote kila mkenya ikiwa we ni mtoto wa squatter ikiwa we ni hasla ikiwa we ni dynasty kila mtu wako na share moja moja katika taifa letu la Kenya hakuna mtu atahama hii Kenya Kenya yote sisi tuko na jukumu la kujenga taifa letu la Kenya na kama ni siasa na nataka niwaambie hata wafanye nini wa, wafanye nini naibu wa rais hata wachukulie nguo wawache e uji wa Kenya watampigia kura kwa rais wa taifa letu la Kenya ya 2022 najua sasa hivi wamepanga kujaribu kuharibu chama chama ya jubilee hata tunapoongea wamekuwa wakipata pesa ya public hawajawahi tuita national delegates conference or parliamentary group or national executive council kutuambia ni nini wamefanyia chama wamefanyia pesa zetu ndio maana hata secretary general in the next 3 30 days less than 30 days lazima atoke kwa hiyo office tutatumia sheria na other extra legal means kuhakikisha ametoka katika hiyo office kwa sababu jubilee inapewa pesa ya kodi ya serikali haipewi pesa ya mtu binafsi sisi kama wabunge tunalipa elfu kumi kila mwezi ku sustain the operations of the party but it is sad the subscription we were paying 
as the same subscription and taxpayers money yenye walikaa naye chini kwa tuongozi kutoa viongozi wetu katika senate najua wanaelekea national assembly Mwa, wao wajue ya kwamba wafanye lolote hata wamtoe naibu wa rais wapi hata wafukuze yeye kwa ofisi walifukuza yeye kwa nyumba huko Mombasa wafukuze hata ile nyumba ya official residence wafanyie wa frustrate naibu wa rais vile wanataka but one thing i can assure them the idea whose time has come no one can stop kwa sababu naibu wa rais ako na agenda kubwa ya kuhakikisha wa Kenya wanaendelea mbele and therefore uh, your excellency president please stop shadow boxing fire all of us finish this business within a stroke of a pen go back to serving Kenyans and know that the constitution is very clear you are serving your second term allow Kenyans to move on after 2022 Kenyans at the economy is doing badly. Ukienda sahi wakati wa corona, watu wengi kwa taifa letu la Kenya hata ukiniliona kwa mitandao ya kijamii na hata hapa kila mahali watu wetu wanapigwa ngeta kwa sababu uchumi ni mbaya. Usalama ni mbaya. Ukiona polisi wakati wa kafyu wanapiga watu makwacho na kuwapiga ni kwa sababu ya stress. Kwa sababu watu waona pesa. Tunataka hiyo uchumi rekebishwe. So what I can tell the president, let us finish this business of firing allies of deputy president and friends across the country. Finish that business, come back to the core business that you have. And I want to tell my brothers in the National Assembly, fear not. Ada Biblia inasema usiogope mwenye anaua mwili. Ogopa ule anaua mwili na anaua soul. Hiyo ndio unatakana kuogopa na anaua roho. Lakini ya kuogopa kuua mwili usiogope na nataka challenge National Assembly they will come for you na najua agenda ya wale watu wa handshake nimeona wakiongea katika bunge la senate agenda yao kubwa ya watu wa handshake ni wakakikisha jubilee na sambaretika na nataka niseme nikimalizia raila odinga wakati alikuja katika handshake yeye mwenyewe wakati deputy party leader wake alisema kule busia alisema agenda yao ni kupiga vita naibu wa rais na kusambaratisha jubilee and their prophecy is almost coming to pass what are make sure ameharibu jubilee lakini chama yao iko imara na nataka niwaulize kwa sababu niliona juzi wakipiga vita serikali wakisema serikali ijafanya jambo the biggest mess that the government is in is cut as also of ownership so they should not exclude themselves walileta bbi mungu fortunately or unfortunately corona ikafika kwa sababu alikuwa anajua hiyo BBI haikuwa na agenda nzuri katika taifa letu la Kenya. Sidhani kuna mkenya yoyote katika taifa letu la Kenya anaweza keti tuongeze viti na nafasi katika taifa letu la Kenya ili yale shida wako nazo mingi. And therefore I want to say that to the, the leadership in the house and a decision decision by the party tribunal that the jubilee merger between jubilee party and the kanu was unconstitutional and illegal. I want to urge our judiciary not to be intimidated and i can say with finality that the parliament has been captured by the state operatives parliament is dead there is nothing that parliament can do and it is so sad because parliament has been captured and the decision that was made by the speaker of the senate today i believe it is not his decision he has been forced he has been under duress he has been coerced and we know what he has been coerced with ametishwa leo asubuhi kwa sababu aliambiwa iko mambo yake huko mahali mahali huko nyuma nyuma huko mahali alikuwa akaambiwa ukisipokubali kutoa murko na kiga wewe tutatoa ile mambo yako closet ile nini iko huko ndani ndio maana hata alisoma ruling without a written and decisive ruling akutoa majina ya maseneta ambao walienda katika kule kule state house akutoa hata standing order na sheria mbaye inakubalia yeye anasema tu threshold met standing order number 19 is very clear that a senator will elected by the majority senate has 35 senators of jubilee 22 did not attend where did they get these 20 senators and therefore it means that these people has been used for the shadow boxing i thank you have you been